How to use ChatGPT for a resume chatbot tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with creating your own resume using the ChatGPT AI. So let's get into it. Now, AIs have become super popular and they can simplify your work, especially if you're someone that is a novice or you don't have a lot of experience in uh, writing your resume, if you don't have a lot of experience or you don't know where to get started from because that is a question people often have, where do I get started with, with my resume, then you can really simplify that process using this AI. So. It's simple, easy, and effective, and it's available for free. So to get a baseline resume written for you for free, to get started, head on over to chat.openai. I have already opened this up. I have signed up to my account. If you don't have an account, you just sign up via your email address. You can do it with Google, Facebook, or just your email address, and this will be your homepage. So in here, it works very simply. Now, there are a few limitations to chat GPT, which are not going to be really intrusive in the resume that we're trying to write but if you're ever just writing stuff and you don't know why it's not updating certain information first off it doesn't have any knowledge of anything that happened after 2021 so it's not going to be able to you know uh, mark up any of the current events that are going on in the world so if anything that is including the current you know world situation or world news is related to your resume maybe you made like you're a scientist or you're an engineer and you did some projects in 2022 and that might be super impactful. Maybe you want to list any of the awards you might have gotten. Uh, then you want to make sure that you just manually type that in. But before that, it can easily generate all the information. So all you have to do is head on over to ChatGPT. You just have to talk to it like you would be talking to a friend. So I'm just going to add the first thing. Hi, can you write my resume? And then it's going to ask me information about your work experience, education, skills, and any other information that you would like to include. So I'm just adding some basic skills over here and then I'm just going to enter these over here and based on the information that I provided now it's going to just uh, you know write it up and objective education like so and then work experience like you can see I just wrote that I was a sales associate and instead of just writing that oh I was a sales associate at Target they have actually you know put in some specific skill set I have strong leadership and teamwork capabilities excellent communication ability to meet and exceed sales targets so this is just you know a basic sample uh what you can do after that is once you get like a basic one you can go on ahead and add more information anything that might ponder up in your you know uh memory you're like okay i want something for this or i'm doing this or so on and so forth so any of that stuff you want to do and you want to make sure that once you finish writing your resume uh you list everything in a chronological order so it should be reverse chronological so the most recent event or education or work experience should be listed at the top and then going towards the past so that is something you should keep in mind whenever you're finishing up and doing the final touches to your resume now if we go on to these resume summaries so let's say i'm just going to take a resume summary like this one so if you just copy this so i asked can you write a another resume so it's giving me you know a different version of the same resume so you can see instead of you know that format it's following a slightly different one and after that it's just writing you know everything averaging a 20 percent increase in sales in each quarter and it's going to make up some stats for you but you can just change the numbers into whatever your actual stats are so after that i'm going to enter so now it's going to write a resume uh, based on this specific skill set so uh, you can see first off it's just writing the summary then the education then the work experience and then it's going to go on ahead and enter the skills and the kind of work ethic that has been demonstrated by you and the best thing about this is that it really simplifies the information so maybe a person reading an entire summary is not going to be able to you know pick out what they're looking for but when they're skimming through resumes people get hundreds and hundreds of resumes they're going to be able to uh you know find the knowledge that they're looking for so whatever it might be and this can be done for any kind of resume so you can see there are so many resume descriptions and if i just take any one of these i can go on ahead and copy this 
And the more you include in your description, the more information you have, you can just keep on adding it on and it will add on the information of your resume. Plus it gives you like a simple format that you can edit as well. So you can just copy and paste this and edit that in your Google Doc. So it is effective in making sure you have a starting place with all of your knowledge, all of your basic knowledge that is displayed, and then you can make add-ons to it. Now, I would not recommend just copying and pasting this as your resume. You should put in a chronological order so make sure that everything is from the latest to the oldest and then just go on ahead and make sure everything is true any of the things that they have written down uh you know don't deviate from your actual skill set you don't want to you know over exaggerate or anything so you want to make sure it's realistic and people are believing it so in this way you can write resumes you can even just go on ahead so can you write my CV, which is basically like the same thing as your resume. It might not be able to decipher it. Then you can just write curriculum vitae. It's just like a different form of a resume as well. Now, if I just go on ahead and take another summary or I can just write my own information. So now I'm just adding a very, you know, shallow kind of description because oftentimes you don't know where to get started at once you graduate high school or you're just, you know, very fresh in the market. You don't have any uh, work experience or anything like that, but it's going to list your high school achievements as your experience because that is what people are going to recognize you off of because you don't have any prior work experience. Then it's going to build your skill set with those kinds of work experiences. So after that, you can just insert your high school name, the graduation date, and your name, address, phone number, and email, and that is it. So with ChatGPT, not only can you write a basic resume, but you can also ask ChatGPT to provide you with a basic template. So I just asked ChatGPT over here to write me a blank template. Just, you know, very basic. It's showing us all the things that we have to enter, the objective, the education, the skills that you have, your experiences, your research experiences experiences, extracurricular, volunteer work, and certification. So this can really help you in building your own resume, making it more customizable, using the kind of wording you want or the kind of vocabulary you want to use. Plus, if I go on ahead and ask for like an entire resume, it will build me a entire resume based on this information. So you can ask it to build you like a hypothetical uh, resume for this specific field so you can actually see what a average resume looks like and this will help you in getting you know a better estimate of the kind of qualifications people have added so this is just building me a hypothetical resume and adding skills or techniques that i might have not thought of directly when writing my own resume but ChatGPT, because it has acquired so much knowledge is a learning platform so and it's just going ahead and integrating all that knowledge directly into the resume. So it's just going on ahead, making things as it goes. And you can really find a bunch of different unique skills that often people don't list in these kinds of sample resumes. You can find a bunch of different experiences or certifications that you might not have thought of to add into your resume. Well, this is like a great way for you to be able to uh, expand on the work that you're doing as well as to also as well as to also provide this as a service provide this as a service to your friends or if someone just really likes your resume you can send them a template and just generally you can help out other people with this kind of ai as well but you can also benefit a lot from it and it's free so it doesn't cost you anything and it really simplifies your work so i hope you guys find this helpful and you're able to build your own resume enter your own skills and create a resume that can resonate with the uh, job opportunities that you're getting so Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.